so when I log into my course in Canvas, one of the things that you will notice is if you go over to the quizzes on the left hand side, there's a sample lecture evaluation quiz that's there. Um, actually, it falls under the surveys as opposed to the quizzes. Now, unfortunately, we can't just duplicate that. And if you were to use that one, it would use the same survey for each of your lectures. So what we're going to want to do is create a new one each time. I've put this one in here so you can see the individual settings for it. But what you're going to want to do is if you click on the plus quiz up here, you can go in and we're going to call this the lecture evaluation and if it's for yourself and you're just looking at a week you can say week of 23 July or if it's for a guest person you could just say you know that I'm doing it for Barbara and here you want to tell the students exactly what they're evaluating so this is an evaluation of the lectures provided during the week of 18 through 23 July or this is an evaluation of the lecture given by Dr. Barber on 23 July. So that way you can basically give them exactly what it is that you are looking to do. When you come down here, you want to change it from a graded quiz to an ungraded survey. And then what I would do is because there's no right or wrong answers, I would basically just uncheck that and I would leave everything else the exact same so that you don't need to change anything. The only thing that you may need to change is you'll notice that the assign to defaults to everyone. Now, if you only want to assign this to a select group of students, so say you're only having six students evaluate you this week and another six evaluate you the next week, um, all you've got to do is click on the X here and it will give you the options for your course now because I'm doing this in a dummy course I'm not seeing anything here but in your case you'll see the section that everyone is in and then it'll give you the option of clicking on students or teachers and when you click on students it'll ask you if you want to do all students or you can actually pick individual students from this list here the other thing is that you can make the evaluation available from a certain point in time and available until a certain point in time. Uh, so that way that students only have a specific window. Like if they need to have this completed by the end of, you know, if we were doing it for the week of the 23rd of July, they have to have it completed by the end of the day on Sunday or maybe by noon on Monday. Um, so you can add in those variables as well. Now, before you go down and hit Save and Publish, what you want to do is come up and click on the questions. And instead of writing your own questions, what you're going to do is you're, you're going to come over here and you're going to click on this Find Questions option. And you'll see that there is a lecture evaluation question bank that's there. So you can actually click on that and then click select all and you're going to add this to a group called evaluation colon and then whatever you had. So week of 23 July or you might call it Barber and you're going to call it three and you are going to um, it doesn't really matter how many points you put here uh, because it's an ungraded survey so it doesn't matter so you can put whatever you'd like in that one and then say create group and when you do that you'll notice in the back here it's actually gone through and picked what it is that I need so I don't need to do anything else here other than click add questions and you can see it's just added my questions for me. And here are the three questions. Was the material presented in a manner that was cl understand, clear and understandable? The answers are yes, no. 
Please provide constructive feedback on this lecture. If the lecture was clear and understandable, what about it made it a good lecture? If the lecture was not clear and understandable, what are your suggestions for improvement? And then finally, were the presentation slides, for example, PowerPoint and other visual aids useful? And then once you've looked at that, you can just then click Save and Publish. And you've got this item in your quiz and it's ready to go. Um, so that's how you would go through and do an ungraded survey for your lecture evaluations.